What's going on, everybody? I actually had to do a voice. I forget what this is called. A voice recorder over what I actually taped. Due to the fact, for some reason, there is no volume on this. So we're going to be kind of watching the video together. And I have no idea what all I said on to it, to be honest. Because some of the cards have gone out to either DC Sports or were sold in other places out there. So for the mail week this week, it wasn't really busy like a lot of the other times. I see I'm sitting here getting ready to fumble for some cards, but I did pick up a few things. Most of them were some wins, and I believe one was a whatnot purchase at the very, very end. All right, up first, I see me grabbing a hold of one. This is from Jacob Monster. It's a Paul Goldschmidt Topps Archives. It is one of one. This here did go off of DC Sports. Uh, baseball is just really hard for me to move out this way. And I've never been a fan of Signature Series archives at all. All it is is a, the same card, reprinted, stamped. Or not reprinted, a buyback, they stamp it. Now this one here was a 2013 Topps uh, Triple Threads. You usually don't see these in high grades. I decided to hold on to this. This is the silver, um, what do they call it, silver signings or something like that from back then. But really cool card. I liked it. You had the two colors in the patches. Up next was a win that I picked up uh, from GB Sports. If you guys are into sock cards, always check out GB Sports. No, he's not a sponsor for the video, but this is a uh, Jaden Ivey heir apparent. As you can see, the focus was going nuts onto this. So, let's see. Up next would be some breaks. I forgot about this. Um, was this a serial number break? I took one serial number. I think it cost me like twenty-nine dollars or something like that. And ended up hitting two cards out, which was kind of surprising out of all things. And if I get ready to show it here on the camera, you guys will be able to see it at any time now. What to do? Wow. I don't know what I was talking about here. Kind of crazy when you have to do a voiceover. That's what it was called voiceover, by the way. You sit there and just watch the video and you're like, what was I doing this whole time frame? What was I talking about? Well, yeah, I'll talk about the two cards. The first one is a Concourse Select um, Silver uh, Banchero. That there is being looked at. Actually, it is going out to be great because I see it in the stack right now. Look pretty good. Definitely a good 9 onto it, possibly a 10. So, we'll take a look at that. And then there was a, I think it was Damian Lillard. Oh, here we go. Now I get to finally show the cards. Oh no, Quahi Leonard, light blue. And then from Whatnot, this is from Polo58. First one, I know, another T-Mac auto. But this is from Topps Chrome. I believe it was, uh, oh, I can't remember the year. It was somewhere, let's see if I show it here. It's either 12, 13, 13, 14, something like that. But numbered out is 76. No, I lied. That's 05, 05. I just had to look real close. But pretty cool piece there. And then this was already out to DC Sports too. It's a Bowman Draft Nick Gonzalez Yellow Chrome Sapphire. Everybody knows I love the Sapphire products, but I kind of backed away because, again, baseball is really hard to sell out this way unless you're dealing with vintage or, like, something really, really hot. And if it's over $1,000, it's kind of hard to move. Everybody wants to buy it, like, 70 60% comps and stuff. But, right, guys, that is it for me. Sorry for the lame voiceover. But want to hit real quick onto the mail week. You guys take care. Have a good one. See you guys later this week. Oh yeah, card show in Louisville this weekend.